So now we want to uh, we want to do the swiping movement from uh, from the background, and it's gonna swipe over, and it's gonna carry into this part. So it's gonna swipe over and carry into that. So now we're gonna search up. We're gonna go ahead and search up motion tile, I believe, and just drag the motion tile onto the first background, and motion tile you're, you don't have to click mirror edges because it's you could if you want to but just go to the beginning of your thing and you're gonna wanna put the uh... hang on one second so let me see oh never mind. you don't have to mess with that stuff okay so now you have the motion tile on this clip and you're gonna wanna keyframe it so you're gonna you wanna keyframe it so it, go, it swipes to the side so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this time the stopwatch on the tile center and you're gonna go to the end of the uh of your of your background layer and you're gonna drag this is the side wait whoops go back one to the so you're on here control left arrow so you're at the last frame of your background and you're gonna drag the first number which is horizontal you're gonna drag it uh, let's say let's make it swipe by if you make it swipe by um, let's say I don't know uh, 640 I'm gonna have to bring out my calculator if we wanted to make it go by four times, so 640 times, let's do five times, equals so 3,200. That's how much we're going to make this value to. 3,200. So now it doesn't look like it changed, but really it's swiped by a bunch of times. And w what we do need to do is what I forgot is you do need to make the gun mask go above this so it stays, uh, it stays the same. So that way the gun's still there. And the background's going by. And right now, it looks like it's like really slow, I guess. So we can even make it a bigger number. So we could do 640 times 7, I don't know, uh, 4480. So we can go to the end of the. We can go back to where we did the tile center and we can click U to go to the keyframes that have been placed on this layer and change that to. What was it again? four four eight zero and you could do whatever you want but I'm just doing it that many times so it's gonna go by pretty quick it's gonna go whoosh. so right now obviously we're not even close to being done and what we're wanting what we're wanting gonna do is we're gonna do the same keyframing to the next background this background so what we're gonna do is gonna drag motion tile onto the next background we're gonna keyframe the tile center go to the last frame like we did with the other one and do 4480 and right now we don't even have that layer on so you won't even be able to see it but let's turn this layer on so click the eyeball and about halfway through through we want the um or about around this time whenever you want the second background to fade into the first one so you're gonna wanna keyframe the opacity is at zero and then go to the end and then put it back up to 100 so that way it goes through and it fades into that one and right now you can see it really well but we're gonna add a real smart motion blur in a second so that it goes by really fast and you can't really see what's going on so um so you got this and next uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna search up real smart motion blur or any type of blur I guess if you have but real smart motion blur looks uh, looks the best and if you don't have it, you can just look up how to get it for free. Or you could buy it, but, you know. So, we're going to look up this, and we're going to drag it onto the BG1. And the, and the look, you can already see it looks a lot better. And the setting I like to put it as, it actually has 0.5, but when I used it, I used 0.8. I found that it looked pretty cool. So you can see it has a nice, really cool effect on it. And then we obviously had to put Real Smart Motion Blur on our second background. And we're going to put that up to 0.8. So let's see what we are already have so far. We can just click RAM preview and just see what we have so far. So obviously we don't have any Twixter or anything. It doesn't look nice and it's not going to any sound, but you can just see how it transitions to the next clip. Like this isn't supposed to like look good. It's just to show you the basics of how to do it. And uh yeah, so that that looks pretty good. And the mask, you notice that it looks pretty sharp-edged. So we can go to the gun mask.
and click M for the mask and go down with the mask and where it says feather we can feather it like I would say like four pixels I don't know uh, what does that look like four looks fine we could actually do like five and that's just how many pixels like I just said that's how many pixels it's kind of kind of like blend and make it look not as like edged and sharp and I didn't mask very well either just because I was going fast but right there you can see it it goes flies by and on mine uh, if you saw it it kind of like the tiles zoomed out and then came back in it was kind of like a slingshot or something like that it kind of like went out and went and out so we're gonna show you I'll show you how to do that real quick what time am I at right now oh crap I'm at 14 minutes oh well this is kind of a hard tutorial oh well let's keep on going hey right, so I'll just show you how to do this real quick search up tile wait right, CC tiling and I'm going to drag that on to my BG1. And I'm going to go to the first frame. And I'm going to keyframe the scale. And the and this is just going to back up all the tiles. And I'm going to go to about midway through, like halfway through. And I'm going to make the the scale about 66. Is, uh, we can do it like even 56. And that's going to automatically put another keyframe, if you'll see, uh, right here, CC Tyler. And we're going to go to the end so it goes out and in and we're gonna make that back up to 100 and we're gonna do the same thing to the BG1 and if you want since it's the same keyframes in the same place you can actually just copy these keyframes like click and drag and do control C and, and then control V onto here so now if you go and look it will you can see the CC Tyler and it zooms out and zoom back in and then you hear the shot. Okay, so now let's go ahead and ram preview that. I die. Obviously, that doesn't look very good because again, we don't have any like music or anything. And I didn't, and it's kind of went by really fast. But you know, you get the idea. You can mess around with it with your own time and stuff. And uh. That's about it. I mean, I did color on it, and there was color correction, obviously, when I did it. So, you, whenever I did it, the color was changing. So I just looked up, I think, like color flashing. I looked up something like that. There's a lot of presets on After Effects you can find, where you can just keyframe some different colors on there, and it will flash by, and it will look really good. But that's about it, I think. And I, I think that's all. But uh, thank you. I'd. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so excuse me if I didn't explain it very well, but. I tried, I'm not sure if it's well, just like the video or comment if you don't understand something, I'll try to help you out with it, or you can comment on something else I need to do, tutor do a tutorial on. Thank you guys for the support, uh, talk to you.